Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to the uh, the ESL Australia Asia Pacific Open Cup for our mics. So joining me for the first time today is Rogi. Rogue, how are you feeling? <laughs> Not too good after just getting eliminated, but hopefully we get to see some good competition. I know the strengths of these teams to a T, so I'm really looking forward to see how leadership especially... The Sniper for Obscure stacks up against Irish Fireman, who has just been popping domes all afternoon on the side of the maintenance unit. Yeah, and I mean, you guys just went up against these guys. As you mentioned, you just got knocked out. Now, you, you mentioned about a couple of guys to, to really look out for uh, in this game so far, but up against Obscure, who do you think is going to take it? It's a tough, it, it's really tough to call. Right now, Obscure, a really solid lineup. They've been practicing a long time together, but we've had no real trouble versing them. But Peace Maintenance, you know, just been giving us to us all afternoon, so i got to give them the advantage. And just like that, Irish Fireman takes off Porksy, but Ramifications answers with his own. Yeah, we have a Saddam inside over on this middle bridge, contesting one as well. As you do see, the kill feed just trading over a couple of kills. 2v2 at the moment, and Saddam inside should be able to win this one. No, he's going to get melee down, and he's going to get taken. I thought he had that fight, but the melee just proves to be too strong. Yeah, just like that Irish fireman, kicking it off with a headshot. Ramifications did follow it up, but two members still alive. Leadership and Ram trying to do what they can, but unfortunately, it's not going to work out. The t uh, Peace Maintenance Unit, they really like to slow down maps, is one of the common trends I've noticed through versing them. Canals, a map that is known to be playing very slow if you don't go for that mid-bridge rush. So yeah. let's see how they choose to play it. It's actually not just a thing that we've noticed actually from this team itself. If uh, I've noticed actually from these new teams competing in our competitions, all the Asian teams seem to be slowing down these rounds and playing to the mistakes of their opponents. And it seems to be working for them. So that's why they keep to be doing it. Now I'm on board with Irish Fireman because he made a little bit of an impact last round. He's got the start of this round and we'll see what he can do. Well, if you look right now, both snipers have been picked up by the maintenance unit. Right now, Valentine is in a 1v1 against Leadership. Leadership wants that sniper back. He's going for it, but Leadership takes out Valentine in the sick 1v1. Right here, the middle bridge is controlled by the COG team as well. You mentioned Leadership. He wanted that sniper back, and he's going to be looking for it. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to really pick that one up. Either way, 4v3 situation. The COG team's looking like they want to push here. They've got nades in their control, and they're going to be throwing one out to try and flush out their opponent's uh, position there. And he's able to actually push back out onto the staircase. So that's going to be Irish Fireman, who still has that sniper in play. He's going to get the headshot, and that's why I just swapped back over to him. He makes magic happen, apparently, because, I mean, he's an Irish Fireman. This guy is an absolute beast with the scope. Keep your eye on him whenever he has it. Right now, though, I'm going to be jumping off to his counterpart here, Porksy, just trying to hold that high side. He's got his snub pistol out. Doesn't want to allow for Irish Fireman to go for the free shot, just keeping himself safe. But if we look around, Saddam trying to go for a push. Looks like they want to go for Irish Fireman again, but if ramifications can't make it happen, not too, I'm not too convinced. They had frags, they had the men up. Looks like the, the smokes are just going to be the reply coming out of the Peace Maintenance Unit leadership. Still just on that mid bridge, not much going to happen here. Looks like they will be getting a second sniper on the side of Peace Maintenance Unit. That's two snipers versus zero. It is, and I mean, it's going to be a little bit tricky for them, but they seem, once again, just playing a little bit slower. They're going to be uh, focusing on that nade pickup as well. A nice little duck as he picks up the nade. Saves him from actually dying from a Ooh. sniper headshot. And as I said, he's actually going to get taken down with crossfire from that oh. body shot. As you mentioned, he's going to get taken down straight away. <laughs> and I'm just on board with them. They're just waiting for it to happen once again, but they're not going to try and maybe count themselves no, too lucky rotating around through the side. Look at this, Irish Fireman, looks like he wants to make the push, he's got his Nasher out, no sniper here, maybe he's out of bullets. Look like he wanted to go for a push here, he might be going for that Torpo actually. Going to be giving up his empty sniper, getting another power weapon on the map here. So this is a sniper, a Torpo, 3v3, looks like the Cog, they're going to be making their way up high side, they're going to be met. The nade comes out from Saddam Insane, can't really see where it's going just yet, the Torpo being charged. Oh. Here comes the nade that does hit Porks, the Irish Fireman just on fire, once again, leadership. Making his way down to low side. Does have someone in his side, but straight away sniped and shotgunned. Yeah, Ragu was able to clean him up there as well. Probably the better rogue in the uh, in the lobby so <laughs> far. Either way, we do have the last cock player there. Saddam Insane is up against the quite a few Locust members. As he goes for this 1v1, he's going to get destroyed. And that is going to be the final kill by Irish Fireman. They are on fire right now, as you called it. And Fireman, I mean, he's 5-0 right now with 703 points. Yeah, like I said, Irish Fireman, he's 
definitely without a doubt their strongest player. I've heard a lot of hype surrounding Valentine. People have seen him playing on that EUS server when they're trying to get some execution underway and he's been wrecking face. Not showing up right now, only one with two deaths on his team. Let's see if the Locust decide to uh, speed things up. No, going to be going for the Sniper, but this time the Cog answer with their own leadership. Let's see if he can make some domes pop here and right away he takes out Minfa-chan. You're going to be having with that, of course, Saddam Insane taking down Valentine here. They're playing it a bit more aggressively here, the Cog team, as they get another down on one, and they try to clean up that last one. It's a 1v1 situation right here. His leadership takes on Iris Fireman. Now, if I, had to, if I was a betting man, I would actually be betting Iris Fireman right here because he still has not died in this game. And that is why wrong, that, that is why I cast and, and, and not... And not <laughs> that, is, that is why I'm not a betting man. That <laughs> leadership with the balls of steel, just going for that push, gets the up, uh, predicts the up A, gets the bounce shot to headshot in one shot. Really good to see out of the obscure here. Yeah, it really is. I mean, they're able to get their first round on the board that way as well. Now, look at them this time. They're sending two players through that low side to go and cross over up the stairs, go to that high side and play, and then two players to be actually going over to this middle bridge crossover. Now, they're focusing on that middle bridge. The snipers have been picked up as well, but you notice the Locust player just playing extremely aggressive, trying to catch up. He's going to get taken down. So David say looking for the double, and Leadership's going to be able to assist with it because they clean up those kills, and now they're just looking to assist their teammates on that high side on that middle bridge. Yeah, if you saw that right away... Irish Fireman, if he doesn't get the headshot, he's shooting the body. These sights are missed, but neither does Saddam with the frags. Going to be taking out Irish Fireman. He's got another one. He's got his sights set on Roguru, I think. Come on, Roguru, challenge your inner Rogi and get this beautiful 3v1. 1v3. I want to jump aboard with the one. And once again, it's going to be the better Rogue right here as he picks up the talk bow. <laughs> And it, Shut it, up, man. it stings every time I say it, doesn't it? Yeah, it, well, results don't lie. I can't. I got nothing to say. There's nothing to say here except that Roguru, he's going to be taking a few snub shots to the backside. Does have that torque bow. So a 3v1 torque bow. Actives are on, keep in mind. For those of you Australian players have been known to play with the actives off. So the torque bow, much more uh, impactful power weapon we see right now. Yeah, and I mean, you're going to be looking for that active reload as well as he tries to go for the top of that sandbag. Swapping over to uh, to the players right in front. It's going to be Sazam Insane, but he's actually taken quite red from that Torquebow shot in. Then he's got two players there with him with leadership down the bottom. So they're converging in on him. They're closing him in. They're boxing him in. And they're waiting for, for him to really poke on out to get some damage laid into him. Now, Raguru, at the moment, he's playing it slow. He's playing it safe. And he's... Unfortunately, that could have just led him to a little bit of a downfall. He's still going to be pushing. Leadership takes down the kill. Leadership's mistake was jumping over the cover just then. Raguru is able to get out, and he's still got that talk bow, and he's, he's managed to get out. I, I, oh, that was so unfortunate. Leadership, unfortunately, trying to go for that non-existent mantle when he should have just held his ground with the pistol. That little bit of greed results in a 3v1 turning into a 2v1. Raguru... He is still up against the odds. They have the man advantage and the weapon advantage by Raguru. He's picked himself up a nice set of nades here. See if he can make something happen. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm st I don't want to jinx it this time, but he could be doing for, for, for a good clutch right now, Raguru. He wasted both of his nades, though. Still got that talk, bro. Still has, uh, I believe, three shots left, I want to say, in that, uh, in that talk, bro. Either way, he's just, he's just running it. I mean... Is, is definitely doing a good job because the players from Obscure, they do not want to uh, to be anywhere near him right now by themselves. Yeah, I wonder how many shots of this Torquebow has. Probably around maybe one or two left. He shot off a few, hasn't got a kill with it just yet. The scopes are going to be watching him. He really needs to slide this snipe. Not sure if I've seen many players of the Peace Maintenance Unit being able to do the weapon slide consistently. A few times in our games especially, they have been caught out of position trying to go for it. Raguri, he's charging up another Torquebow here. Two members of Obscure pushing through the high side. 45 seconds left on the clock. These guys are no strangers to tying out rounds. They don't want to wait. <clears throat> they don't want to uh, lose a round that they don't have to. These guys play real slow, real safe. That we, as we can see here, Raguyu just going to be a turn tail and running away with 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I mean, if you can just wait it out that 30 seconds, it'll go back into a stay, oh. mate. But no, Porks is going to say, no, mate, I've got you covered as he takes him down, cleans up the round to a piece. And, I mean, that, yeah, that's, that's two apiece. That is obscure, just hanging in there right here on this execution canals. Yeah, right now, ramifications 
pretty much the star player of Obscure. He's not doing too much for his team, and I think communications are a little bit shaky right now, so he's really got to pull his team together and keep them all focused on the objectives. Looks like we will be seeing two high sides from the piece maintenance unit. Ramifications, he is just going to be watching there with Lancer. Making sure no one pushes up. The frags are in favor of the Locust squad. Here they go. They're going for a push on ramifications. He has two in his sides. Can he get one? Trying to win this fight. Oh, but Minfa Chen take the Valentine's. He gets the down of Roguyu. Another down. Can ramifications do this? No, unfortunately not. Here we go back to Minfa Chen in the middle. It is going to be a 2v3 in favor of the Locust taking out Saddam. A 3v1. Let's see if he can chuck a Roguyu here and last oh. the end. Leadership. He's going. He's going for the give, but no Roguyu is going to shut down his dreams of the clutch. Yeah, I, that... That's rough. It it really is rough right there because it, I was feeling that clutch out of leadership, and the second he didn't get that second kill, it just it hurt me inside as well because the it was just so close. Fizzled. Yeah, I mean I'm watching that rebroadcast there on the stream. But it just it was it was so close, but yet so far, and that brings the overall round cap there three to two in favor of the peace maintenance unit because they won right away from being able to secure map number one here in the series. Yeah, jumping back on board with Ram, he is on high side here, just been watching two members, gonna be getting that mid bridge completely uncontested, giving away frags, Porksy goes down from the sniper of fire, <laughs> Irish fireman rather, Valentine gonna be picking up two there, goes ramifications, this is looking surely like it could be the potential map here, leadership, he's got something to say about it, but unfortunately he didn't yell loud enough, and the Locusts are gonna take the first map, 4-2. to two. My, my oh my, these, the, the, Irish this... fireman, what did I tell ya? A beast! I, I completely had faith in your comment there. Uh, it was definitely, once again, it's it's the new talent that we're, we're seeing here in the scene that we, we're not, we, you know, we weren't really expecting. I mean, you, you mentioned it previously, you know, you, you try some things, you know, work it out on the Australian teams. You try it over into an international team, especially for their first time competing in our region. You don't know what to expect. It's not, nothing works. And then you just see yourself being down to map, being down two maps and that, that, that's that. So jumping onto Gridlock, we had the pleasure of versing these guys. I say pleasure very lightly. Yeah. Gridlock, we've, it's the first of four. We probably played about nine rounds, maybe ten on Gridlock. Yeah, it, it these seems maps a little rough. These maps tend to get stale. Yes. Which but is a, a little bit of an unfortunate term when you try to cast it. But on the bright side... For the squad of uh, the Peace Maintenance Unit, they're going to be wanting to clean up this map due to the fact that it is a best of three. We're in the loser bracket. It's a best of three. They only need one more map to be able to take this one out. And in this map rotation, it is, of course, going to be a fuel depot if we need to for map number three. So, you know, it, it's still it's still too early to tell. But I, I'm still looking at these guys and I'm like, well, Obscure, you know, they're, they're, you know we, we know them to play well. But the Peace Maintenance Unit, they just could be on a whole nother level right now. Yeah, keep an eye. They're going to make sure that Irish Fireman, he had free reign over the sniper on canals. But this time, he's going to have to fight for it. Gridlock, he was doing work on it against us, always picking off those headshots to open up the map. Just really just dissect us one by one, take us out. So keep an eye on his team to facilitate that, to make sure that Irish Fireman can get in there and get the sniper and be the slayer that his team needs him to be. Seem like you're going to give, be giving them a little bit of a prep talk there, Rogue. <laughs> now look, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play this against Obscure. Predictions? It, it all depends. I'll, I'll give you a prediction after the first map because I want to see how Obscure play this. If they play Boom Heavy and give up Snipe, I'm going to give it to Peace Maintenance Unit. But if they are able to contest this sniper efficiently, that completely shuts off Irish Fireman from his power weapon. I still, regardless of saying that, I will give it to Peace Maintenance Units 4-3. 4-3, okay. So you're yep. going to be thinking a 2-0 overall to them at the same time yep. from that prediction. Jumping on board after first. Yeah, okay. After, yeah, I definitely have to agree with you. I think it's going to be close on, but I'll we be giving it to Obscure to be able to catch back up and force map number three from there. However, as you mentioned, it's a little bit too early. We have to see how this map does progress forward. I want to jump aboard. I'm going to jump aboard with Roguri as he did have that first board, but he's going to be going for that boob shot. Yep. So I'm going to jump aboard with the player that's going to be going to this sniper side. It does seem like Irish Fireman's going to be that player on point. It does get a shot off in, and look at that reaction. They know that they're going to be out, outmatched. They just instantly bail out. 
Yeah, look at that. Oh, but in the meantime, Valentine is going to take out Saddam Hussein at the boom shot. So the COG, they're going to be picking it up. Just remember that the COG are peace maintenance unit are on the side of the COG here. So they're going for a little bit of a defensive play after getting that boom shot. Using the smoke so efficiently just to make sure that leadership with that sniper has no chance of picking anyone off. That was a good rotation. Saddam Hussein may be getting a little bit overzealous there. Yeah, and uh, with that, 4v3 situation, ramifications, bowed back to the pot plants. His team is more huddled over into a, to a specific area of the map right now. Of course, that boom shot in the hands of Roguru. It's, it's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking for the team of Obscure right now. Yeah, definitely. And right now, the Peace Maintenance team that are in position to give... Irish Fireman, that second sniper rifle. They have the boom. Here comes a net. That's a great net. Irish Fireman, he's going to have to roll backwards. Doesn't get shell shock from it because he was on a wall. Going to be going straight at back in between those pillars. But once Irish Fireman gets that snipe, he will be able to be that facilitator for his team. Open up the map. Allow the boom shot to get in. Because anytime leadership pokes his head up to try and cover the team, you bet Irish Fireman's going to be, uh, has him down his scope. Yeah, that is definitely uh, correct here. As I'm on board with, uh, with leadership at the moment, with that, uh, with that sniper rifle in play, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for someone to make an opening round for themselves. Of course, the locust team is going to be holding there back. There is. we go. That's what I wanted to see. As he takes down Aris Fireman, your best friend right there, Rogue. <laughs> as actually your second best friend, Roguru is definitely uh, Roguru, your one. man. Yeah. We're, we're linked. We're yeah, spiritually you, you, linked. You definitely yeah. are. And it, it now brings it back to a three v three situation. And now the Colt team though has a sniper rifle in their position. Yeah. Going to be picking that one on Mintha Chan. Haven't seen him do too much with the power weapons just yet. More of a shotgun-based player here. So let's see if he's if the sniper uh, racks up well in his arsenal. But right then, Irish Fireman, we all saw it. He didn't need to poke up and Lancer there. There was no way that was going to impact the game in any advantage. And he instantly gets domed by the quick shooter that is Leadership. Yeah, Second boom has spawned. Keep in mind, Roguyu, he does have his sights set on it. Does have two shots of his own. I do believe he hasn't shot any just yet. It'll be a little bit of a challenge if he gets those four. Yeah, just, just going to be a little bit. And I mean, you're going to be having ramifications actually looking over that new boom shot with grenades in his hand as well. He's, it's, he's primed and ready for someone to go and make that approach for that boom shot. No, you're definitely right. I'm just cycling through the players here. Not too much. Oh, excuse oh. me, it's going to be happening, but Leadership takes out the other sniper on Minfa Chan, so it's now one minute left. The COG, they're frantically trying to keep their positions here. I say that, they haven't even moved. Valentine just sitting, trying to get that sniper rifle, and Roguru didn't even flinch on that boom shot. Nerves of steel coming out of the peace maintenance unit. As I say that, Ragu shoots off one boom. He has switched to his shotgun, predicting the rush. Valentine, he is in a 1v1, but Porksy does take him out. Here goes Ragu. Oh. He takes out ramifications. He's going to be getting that boom at MO. Can he survive? He does. How much left longer on the clock? We've got 30 seconds left. Ragu, he's frantically trying to get somewhere safe to hide. Going to be going back up to that side. They really make need to make a play here, but how do you push a guy with two booms in a two-on-one? Two, two on one? Leadership's got that sniper rifle, though, and he's going to be looking to possibly get a log raid shot because everyone knows they're not going to be wanting to let it go to a close range battle and uh with that you know you see Roguru here on the pot plants he's 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 got his eyes out so he won't be surprised where these players are going to be coming from but the, 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 he's just got that boot primed already as i mentioned that one player's going to rush him one player's going to hold back and uh oh. that's going to go to a stable leadership Stabber. had the opportunity to do that but he wasn't close enough to the wall to go for the up a so unfortunately taking too long to initiate that play but you've got to give props to leadership two headshots in a round that looked like it was going to just draw out really opening the map up but unfortunately not being able to capitalize on it so let's see where these teams how they've adjusted their strategy to maybe win a little bit more efficiently and with that of course we are going to be on board with the uh, the Colk team though, because I I I want to I want to see how they play on this side, because you mentioned about adjusting their strategy, and you notice this pullback once again that we are seeing from the uh, from the Colk team. They they did it uh, from the Locust team. Sorry, they did it last time. They forced their back, but it didn't really work out for them at the end. You notice straight away though, this time around, Porksy was able to get the kill there on Valentine, stopping them from getting that boom shot, and now you see this push over onto the uh, the boom shot in favor of the Colk team is just not working. Hey, Raguyu channeling his inner Rogi and getting a nice kill right there. Here comes Saddam. He is going to get taken out by Irish Fireman, who will net himself a nice little boom shot here. He's going to be contested, though, by the Locust member on the car. Only going to have a Lancer out, so Fireman not going to be in too much uh, trouble here. Is Sniper still alive yet? Yeah, leadership, he is watching. Holding onto that shot. 
Ramification smartly backing off here. Oh. The boom shot comes out, not going to do any damage. But Ramification, what is he doing? He's looking at the floor. He has to take this 1v1 here, rolling in Irish Fireman. Going to get the nice pistol. Jack, he's only got his pistol out to answer for it. So leadership, going to be running away, trying to active up his sniper. There are no boom shots left on the side of the cog, though. And one sniper in the pocket of leadership. And we've seen what he can do with this. Yeah, we Let's have. See if he can the round. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, but yeah, a little bit of lag there on the uh, on the old leadership screen. <clears throat> see if that will continue on. Forward. It's just a cantus. Yeah, it's prob probably probably <laughs> e e either way. Buff. Yeah, e e either way. Of course, you know you had that sniper out. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to save Ramification's life though, because he missed the sniper shot. And there you go. You just see him try and contest this one v two right here. It's not going to be too good for him, and that's going to be the round. Might be round number two, but that's going to be the first round on the board for either of these two teams, this time going in favour of the uh, TPMU squad. And despite getting an early advantage with Porksy getting the 1v1, uh, Obscure, they overcommitted to that boom shot and got nothing out of it except a few deaths. So, Peace Maintenance Unit looking really strong at the moment. That they are, and I mean, you really didn't come into this one thinking any different either, because you were just, you know, you were just seeing these guys completely uh, playing out of their minds for every match that they've played so far, and this one really wasn't going to be any different. You see that roll out of Iris Fireman, though, as leadership does get the down, and he's focusing too much on the kill, but no, he's going to go for that second kill as well. I thought that might have been his mistake, focusing too much on the down instead of the player alive, but he made it work. He picked up that sniper, and Anything that could have made it better was just him getting that hustle, that sniper rifle headshot because he played that round perfectly up until it. That's why we're sitting here casting mics and they're still playing. These guys know exactly when to go for the kill. And just, oh. down. It's just like that, leadership takes out Valentine's. He goes for the push, completely shifting the momentum of the round back in favor of the Locust. Unfortunately, though, Raguri, he's got himself a boom shot. We've seen what these guys can do defensively with the boom rather than offensively. This is his round to, uh, it's his round to throw away. <clears throat> Once again, we've seen Obscure playing so fast and strong up Oh! oh <laughs> I, I, I physically winced at watching that. Leadership standing still in the middle of the map while his opponent is looking at him with boom shot. Yeah, I don't think he knew exactly how to boom shot in the, in the hand oh. when he was doing that uh, that standstill. Either way, Porksy now knows. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to make that same mistake. As I say that, though, Ooh. he gets taken a full red because of that. I was standing right behind him. All that blast radius nearly took him out. And right now, the pistol shots. Roguru, who's going to be challenging? challenging uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> Challenging Porksy in a 1v1 here. He is going to be waiting for that second boom, but Porksy going to be forcing it a little bit earlier. That is very smart. He can't allow for Oguru to get another set of explosives here. So Porksy, we've seen him take out a few 1v1s right now. He is on two kills, two downs. Roguru, though, he's leading his team. Four kills, one death. Let's see how he plays this. He wants to be the aggressor in this matchup. Looking to cover. Goes for a nice slide. Gets a good shot. He's going to get one more. Can he hit it? The oh. third one going to be giving Porksy a nice 1v1. Roguru coming up clutch. Yeah, they are just they're, they're just on fire right now. And I mean, once again, you are seeing a player from the squad of the Peace Maintenance Unit just completely dominating through in this game. It's Roguru, and I mean, he's definitely channeling his inner rogue right now because you just <laughs> see him. Just, he's always playing over on that boom shot side. He's always picking up that boom shot, and he's just absolutely dominating with it. They're leading 2-0 to zero out of the three rounds. We're entering into round four right here, and you're going to be having them once again. I'm on board with Roguru. He's got two players contesting him with here at this boom shot. He picks off one. The second player's not going to even pick up that boom shot. He goes for that, uh, that boom shot pickup as well, and I mean... That, that round is all but over. One play is all that's left alive right here as the Peace Maintenance Unit uh, just one kill away from making it 3-0 here at the game. Yeah, Roguru just getting the beautiful 2v1 and securing himself a boom shot. Obscure, they seem to be on full tilt right now. Coming, uh, coming off a loss is no good thing, but here we go, 3-0 in favor of Peace Maintenance Unit. They're making it look easy. They, they, they really are. I mean, Obscure aren't an easy team to beat. I mean, they're, they're definitely just giving them all they've got right now. And this is the skill of these new teams in our region. You know, a lot of people like underestimating them because of a couple of teams that have gone through in the past. But they, these guys are showing why they are, you know, why they definitely stand a chance in our competitions, why they deserve future spots in our competitions in the future as well. I was on board with Roguru, but he's going to be actually sitting back here for this boom shot side. He's going to be able to pick up that first goal, swapping over to that sniper tower. Kills trading either way. Now the last one alive is going to be Roguru. Picks up the boom shot. And I think he definitely challenged... Uh, Channeled through his inner rogue right there because he killed himself as he picked up the kill. 
<laughs> Mike's in there, no chill tonight, dude. You just let me have it. Yeah, it's uh, but... it's it's a little bit of a re revenge <laughs> uh, from previous uh, previous events, and I think you definitely agree uh, that you you definitely earned it. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Before before I let Mike's rude comments get me too down, let me jumping back on board with leadership, who has got himself eight kills, being the main carry for his oh. team, and just like that, Ninfa Chen doesn't know what he's getting himself into. Versing leadership here, who's going to be getting another kill any second now. If he can get that last shot onto Fireman, no, he's going to run away. Roguru gets taken by ramifications, and the team of Skewer, they're getting their second win. They're fighting back. Porksy takes out Valentine. Leadership takes down Porksy. Fireman, though, he wants to make something happen. He's going oh. into the play. Takes out Leadership in a 2v1. It is a 2 versus 1 here. Saddam and Saman ramifications. Does Saddam have that boom shot? He does. He's going to be taking it slow here. Making That's sure they don't... still in play also. <clears throat> Look at this. Fireman, he's just hiding behind that first uh, flower pot here. Not much going to happen except for when that boom goes into play. Throws down a smoke to give himself a little bit of cover. Running back to P3. Can he survive a little bit longer? It looks like he will full red. Just one boom shot should do it. Saddam Insane picks it up. Yeah, he was able to clean up a, quite a confident kill there in, the, in that one. But that being said, they've got two rounds in a row. This could be the comeback story right here from the other squad of Obscure. We said they weren't easy to push over right now. And they're showing why. And they're still staying alive here in this game. And I mean... Definitely a big portion of that has to be leadership. He's been just on fire so far. And I want to jump aboard with him at the beginning of this round to just see exactly why that is as he goes over onto the first pillar right there. He's going to be actually getting shot up from a couple of players. Irish Fireman, though, able to take down Porksy as leadership goes for that revive. Porksy is just going to abandon leadership. He just runs away. He's trying to run as far as he can. He's got two players going to contest with him. One of them is Valentine, as you can see on our screens. And they are just hunting him down, cleaning him up. And this could be all she wrote in just a moment. But the boom shot for ramifications will clean up Roguru. And right here, one boom shot left in the counter. So they're two players up against three. If they can make that boom shot count, this could be an even match. Yeah, just like that. If you're going to play super aggressive at boom, you have to make sure that your sniper guys can retreat. We saw that Porksy, he got down on the stairs. That forces leadership to basically not even be a player. He has to go back and revive his member, getting taken out the second he did that in Porksy. Just got completely ran down. So if you're going to play boom heavy, guys, you got to make sure your sniper players can fall back, especially when your enemy sends three to snipe, because you're just completely outgunned at that stage. So we got a 2v3. These main unit, they are just hanging around the, uh, the pot plant here. Looks like Saddam going to be picking himself up some nades. Power weapons heavily in favor of Obscure here. Oh, look at that. Ramifications getting a nice down with the boom shot. Can he secure the kill, though? <clears throat> Nade coming out from Saddam Hussein. Not going to do anything just yet. Here comes Ramifications. Goes for the kill. He's got backup. Fireman and Valentine. They want to go for a play here. They want to end this map right now. Minfajet oh. standing Saddam and Valentine takes out Ramifications. And that will be it. Obscure. Lose the game 2-0. Peace maintenance unit takes it onto the next round. I have no words. I have no words. This is the first time I've been able to see the Peace maintenance unit Throughout the entire day, of course, we've seen their uh, their countrymen compete over in previous uh, previous matches on stream as well. They've been definitely giving up one heck of a fight, but that is a two 0 win to them to now place top three in the uh, in the competition. They're going to be taking on Crinkle Cuts up next. Now, that's one thing to note, though. They previously, like you previously faced them in the past and lost, mm -hmm. Crinkle Cuts are the team that knocked them into the loser bracket. There you go. So that's going to be coming up next. We're going to take a quick break, though. Wait for these guys to get into a lobby, and we'll be back after this short break.